Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Forza Horizon 5. So in today's video we're going to be using a new ute that's been added to the game. The Toyota Tundra uh, TRD Pro. So some guys might know this as Slap Train's car, but not the TRD Pro. Yes, this is a normal Tundra, but this thing looks really cool. Big, big ute, 5.7 litre V8 petrol. By the look of it, it's like the Lexus V8, so I don't know if they still make the 2UZs or 3UZs, but it could be that type of motor, but it could be something else completely different. But look at the big giant Newton. In today's video, we're going to be building it a bit different to our forerunner in the last video. It ain't going to be a big like, Lexus V10 build. Like the forerunner. No, that was kind of cool. But already has a very nice V8. Petrol V8 too. This thing is quite a lot faster stock than a forerunner. Definitely. And forerunner, I think it was about. I think it was a four cylinder, and this is a V8, but in a big heavy ute. Of course, this is the same route we took the forerunner, but this thing I also will make cross country or freight car because I don't know, it's a big ute, and it looks like with the tires and everything else, this thing is designed to high idling V8. Yeah, this thing was designed for already. Yeah, it looks quite nice on the inside. I don't know what else you would use this for. You can't really be using it. Well, of course, you can drift it. You can drift anything. And you can really do anything with anything, but it's not really a strange drift car or track car. It really is more screams off road. Alright, let's go into the house and start operating the car. I have an idea. So yeah, I was looking at this car when I was making that full runner move up video. And um, this thing also has the engine I was going to use in the full runner, but it also does have the Lexus V10 in it. So we're going to be putting. See ya. It does have the Lexus V10 in it, and it has a normal V8 in it, but we're going to put a V8 turbo diesel in it, which lowers the um, front performance, but listen to the engine idle. Good old rattle. Why the hell not? It is all-wheel drive, and we're going to keep it all-wheel drive. Now, what off-roading stuff can we do? That's in the worst placement ever. Make it full Baja. I mean, some part of me wants to do it. Some part of me wants to keep it just, you know, this is a normal ute. Yeah. Just keep the normal tailgate on it. A big step. Or the metal steps. Or no step. Why not? We're doing the metal steps. And then... We got the big snorkel again. Why the hell not? <laughs> First we tested in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, you should probably watch it. But we tested in the last video that um, the snorkels don't work because they don't let, it let you go underneath the water enough. 
Yeah, we swap it to the upgraded tires, which lower the tire pressure. Crap loads. Okay, we got three fitted tires in the front, three fitted tires in the rear. Holy boy. And that also makes the off roading go a bit more. And then it's a bit less for like. Alright, we'll put the thickest tires on the front because we're not keeping the stock rims on this one too because they look alright. They were meant for the car. So this is also going to be another A class off road machine. If we can even get it to the top of A class. Oops, went too far back. So we're going to put Rally Diff in it. We're going to put a race drive shaft in it. And all the that's left is to fully upgrade the diesel. If it will stop. Oh well. I'm oh sorry, I didn't realize from yesterday's video. I'm sorry, it wasn't 100% fully upgraded Lexus LF engine. I forgot to do the intake. But let's listen to what a diesel V8 sounds like. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds good. Sort of sounds like the um, Land Cruisers. Land Cruisers over here, the 79 series Land Cruisers with their V8s. The V8 diesels, they do sort of sound. Why did I zoom out all of a sudden? I did not mean to do that. It seemed like I zoomed out. But when they put the exhaust on those, they sound. They do sound exactly like this. That sounds epic. Epic ass. Holy moly. Episode of Raptor. S1 class. You see that? So we went from 500 horsepower and 1500 newton meters of torque to 1000 horsepower and 3000 newton meters, newton meters of torque. Holy moly. That's a powerful, powerful engine. It's already powerful already. These things have like a thousand plus new meters of torque from factory. That's free. Fa Oof. I sort of, I sort of just want to make it S1 class just for that, but it would be a better A class car. Then it would be S1 because it'd be S1 820. There'd be a lot of other cars that would be better for off-road in S1 class, but... Turbine really sounds cool, but it's also about that power, like 1,000 horsepower and 1,300... no, 3,100 new meters of torque. That's crazy. <laughs> but we'll keep it at A class. Of course we didn't get all the way up max A class, we got it to mid A class, but oh well, there isn't really too much else we could have done to make this like a good B class car, of course it might be a better A class car if we put like, let's just say, the uh, Lexus LFA engine, and that's only got one less horsepower, and it's almost fully upgraded, diesel. Damn. And this diesel with the turbo has more power, horsepower, of course more torque, than a Lexus LFA V10 engine like NA without a turbo. With a turbo? Ah, probably a different story. But yeah, we'll leave this how it is. Basically, low to mid A-class Tundra. But yeah, I've seen that you can put these big V8 diesels and like a Camaro, like 69 Camaros and old cars. I think that's pretty cool, but I've seen 
a lot of people have done it because it's a new thing and everything, but that sounds cool. 4,000 RPM Redline? Doesn't even sound like a diesel anymore. It just sounds like the inside maybe, but from the back it just sounds like a normal V8. Didn't shoot anything. Let's see how we go. Let's take it to the off road and Storm for his puller. Oh <laughs> Cool, cool. But now, I'm going to be doing another cross country event. I mean, you could do this one straight through at a festival. I could do that one. We've already done, we already did that one. I guess we could do that one. I think I've done that one before on a, an event, but I haven't done it properly to make it say not new, so why not? We did a volcano run down to the ocean in the full runner, so we do a volcano run down into like, I think that was the city, or down to the bottom, so why not? Volcano run videos. <laughs> Alright, we want to do the normal race, not an event race. Here we go. So here's our Tundra. I think this thing actually looks pretty sick. For a Toyota Ute, pretty sick. Of course I'm sure we only get the Hiluxes, but... This actually looks pretty cool, and I would... Think of having one, but then... I guess we have the Rams and Silverados over here now. And I'm sort of... I do like the Silverados. I don't know if this thing would be the Silverado, like, for me liking it, like, likewise, I think I'd rather a Silverado over this, but maybe even a Ram over this, this might be my third choice of a Ute, if I had to get one, Ram, I'd probably get over this and a Silverado, definitely. I don't know where this stands up to those other ones, is this compare compete live yeah compete with the uh, 1500s or the 2500 or the 3500 we have facing a Hennessy 6x6 so like this, police dude car and got Tampons <laughs> Hennessy of course I've not made a video in that too so if you guys haven't seen that video you should go and check it out as well See how we go with this tundra. Of course, with the tundra, how you oh my god, we're learning already. With the tundra, how you do it is you buy the car pass, and this thing, this, I mean, the tundra comes in the car pass. So you have to buy the car pass to get this. But to get the forerunner, you get 20% on 20%, not 20%, 20% on the um, seasonal. Um, event, like the season, the festival playlist, for the season. Oh, no. This is where sometimes is the best, and it's always sometimes better to tune your cars. Because gear a little bit better. But they, they're still pulling away from them. Um, Just got that with the tail. Oh. I won't rewind, I won't rewind. I'm gonna try and beat this in the back. We're running too much on this. Unless I have a big, big problem. Oh, I'm gonna try and 
I thought I remember the eight. Oh, of course, it's the color eyes. Okay, just like that. I'll move my man because that was me being completely stupid and trying to cut really fire in the checkpoint. I should have just done that in the first place. Come on, you big diesel. I wonder what would have been better, the stock V8 in the Tundra, or the B6.7 V8 diesel. I'm pretty sure this V8 diesel, this is the uh, Silverado diesel. The big V8 diesel you find in the Silverado, so. Or it could be Cummins from the Rams, but I don't have the Rams, I'm pretty sure. Silver. We don't even have the silver rudder actually either. I don't know. It's one of the big utes. V8 diesels. Could be an F1. F150. But now one thing I want to try is we'll go back to the house and I want to see how hard this thing pulls and how this thing goes going over jumps with their turbo on it, having 3,000 new meters of torque, this thing will be absolutely insane. Adds another almost 500 horsepower, but it adds like almost 2,000 new meters of torque to it. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I wonder why people put these in the old cars. I might have to try that. 3,000 new meters of torque and 1,000 horsepower in a light, lightish muscle car. That will go. This thing is definitely still heavier than a 4Runner. The 4Runner was 1,700. This is 2,000 kilograms. Alright, let's see how this thing pulls this time. Oh. Way faster and pull way higher. Holy, holy. <laughs> That's insane. Three thousand new meters of torque does. Completely missed that. Oh. All right, we got the mountain over there. We head for that. One big jump and then I guess let's get the call of the video. Done one race. So then we'll also use it. Hopefully. Let's see how this thing goes. Climbing the mountain too. Oh crap, I don't know what to do. Good one. No problem at all. Oh, front flip! Made it! <laughs> Now that was sick. Sort of halfway through the front flip, but we went over and then rolled sideways to land. And I'll try it here again. But, yep. Respawned us every time we try and go in the water. Put in six and this goes. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, I know you can probably just get down normally. We're gonna rewind. Wait, I have some messing about. I'm gonna hit this. Nail yeah. it. Okay, so I'm gonna have my car relax in here. In a very nice, very nice distance. Well, very nice. 
scenery of through the water to the hills but I hope you guys enjoyed this video this tundra was actually pretty cool with this V8 diesel because it's crazy with how much power you can get out of this I've never actually used this engine yet in a car so that's pretty crazy but I'll probably make another video soon I don't know what car actually it's been about I know what car so I've made this one straight after the Forerunner, so I'll probably make the next video straight after this one too. But then all the videos were coming out probably two days after each other, or maybe a day after each other. Depends how I go with editing and uploading. But I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Peace.